my Jeep. Did you take some video of what happened up there for him? No. So tell him what happened with the next plow guy. Oh, the next plow guy literally pulled into the driveway and immediately got stuck. Did he even get anywhere down at he all? He got nowhere. Nowhere. He just got stuck right in the in the bank. So at this point, two plow guys have told me there's no way to get it plowed with a pickup truck. So we tried a snowblower. Gonna, that didn't work. Snowblower didn't work. So we're going to have to up the game and get something a little bit bigger. Yeah. Uh, the other problem is everyone's snowed in. Yeah. So no one has time to come do anything. This guy here said even once we get it plowed, he's too busy. He can't be our regular plow guy. Yeah. Not that we need one. We don't, we don't need one. Once we get it plowed, we can yeah. use our side by side. But, but uh, so we're going to have to figure out something a little more drastic. Yeah, it's going to be a while. Kaiser loves chasing the snow as you come out. He's very serious about his play. He yells at everybody else because he wants to be the only one to catch the snow. All right, we're getting ready to go make a run to town to get some provisions because all we got right now is bottled, like, you know, individual bottled water. We got to get some jugs of water so we can start watering. Yeah, since so much snow we haven't gotten down to our um, spring yet to see what's going on with it. Oh my gosh, I can't even imagine. It's going to be impossible to get down to it. The good thing about it freezing though is it's making it easier to walk on. You don't fall through it every couple feet. You can just walk on top of it now. gallons and different prices there they keep it in here because it's heated Uh, here to take care of the driveway. So we got to haul this stuff back here and it's fairly heavy. Hopefully the thing doesn't tip over. It makes it way more difficult than it does. Craig has gotten us a 
load of firewood here. There's another wheelbarrow up there. We had a lot of our uh, construction cutoff ends and stuff, so we got a, those two uh, of them little sleds full of that. And I've got some. It's hard to dry here. There's some that was a little green. It'll still burn, but I prefer not to burn it. But until we can get the firewood guy here, it'll be a bit of a problem because now we can't get any further back than the road. So he's going to drop it at the road, and we're going to have to tow it all the way back here in this thing. So it's not going to be the easiest. So I'm trying to clear this out a little bit, and then we're going to get some, bring our tarps out and run tarps all the rest. So I got to make a, a path all the way around it so we can hook our tarps all the way around this thing, which is what I was going to do before we left, but just didn't get it done. But that was the, the thought to keep all the snow from getting here. So then we're going to still have to do that, and then I can stack this thing full of firewood. And I've got to make us a path over to the house. You know, we kind of beat down a path down the driveway, but this is still, you sink to your knees when you walk in this yet. So we're going to clear this thing out. And then we're going to have to clear all that out, so I'm kind of making more work for myself because I'm scooping it into the shoulder logic area. Uh, got to do the most important first, though. I mean, it's, it's fairly deep. I, I mean, I haven't measured it, but... I don't know. There's a couple feet. Yeah, at least it's, it's over two feet deep. What are you doing, Giddy? Giddy, Giddy. Yeah, you're covered in snow. We got us a snow rate coming so we can clear off the pond. It's helping me destroy the area again. Helping me by destroying the area. Yeah, there's quite a bit of snow up top. We got to get that off of there because it's it was it definitely wasn't made to hold the weight. We thought we'd be here to keep it cleared off. And it's held it. It, yeah, it has, but it, they're calling for another 48 inches here. Yeah. So we, we really need to get it off. Uh, you just you take a step and you fall in. I, I, I just keep... It's too soft, you just fall right into it. Are you done with this? Yeah. All right, we're going to try and pull it back up. I've fallen in the snow. This is uh, definitely hard going. We gotta get a path made. Uh -huh. Oh shoot. Oh my god, now I'm getting attacked by dogs. Shoot. She is getting me. Gigi! Oh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Now there's two of them. Oh, I'm down on their level. They got me and they know it. Really small stove compared to what I'm used to. I'll put a picture in of the stove we had before. It was a beast. You could put in some big old chunks, burn all night long. It was a beast. Just punky as can be. Borderline rotten, really. <laughs> Dogs are loving being back home playing in the snow. Craig, not so much. Nope. <laughs> we cleaned the Jeep off yesterday, like had all of it off of the uh, hood, and now there's probably a good four to six inches on top of it again. Probably close to six. I did put the battery back in and it fired right up though, so I was pretty happy with that. I thought maybe the cold would kill it, but it started up, not that I can get it out, but. Is that the bottom? Yeah, this, this is not much you can do. I was trying to make a step there, but oh, powder on the bottom. Yeah, but you haven't come across any actual ground yet. 
Get back. Guys, See, the problem come. is, is the dog is going to keep <laughs> the step. collapsing it. We're trying to make it to where it's not such an abrupt yeah. step down to get over here. But right. We get to a certain point. And, and it just, yeah, starts. mashes down. Yep. So, so it's going to have to be like a ramp. Yep. I guess. It's not going to be very good. But you see when he's in the hole and we still can't see ground, he's just about six foot two and it's quite a bit above his knees when he's standing down there. The ground's down here somewhere. I know. Somewhere. I don't want to get to it because then I gotta scoop even more out. Yeah. I gotta watch him, otherwise he'll go until he has a heart attack. Make it to where you know, we can actually walk over to it. Yeah. It doesn't have to be all the way down. No. Firm enough. Walk. Right. There are several layers. Here. And Craig got this all cleared up pretty good. This is all the wood we've got left. Not good. He was going to have somebody deliver some, but his truck's broken. So he can't get to it to deliver it. And then if he does, he's going to deliver it clear up at the road. And we're going to have to haul it down with the sleds I wanted to be able to get the shelter logic put back together so we can get all that stuff the tools and all that stuff out of the house so we can have more room but I don't know I'll have to work on that another day Like he's got the path pretty much finished. You can see how deep it is. Come on, move out the way. Well, it's gonna be a yellow path before they're done with it. By the time they're done with it. <coughs> Well, you already probably had a sneak peek when I was out here the night we got here looking for the key. But we haven't been back out here in a few days. I haven't been out here at all. <sighs> I cleared the snow off of there. It's been in our sauce pipe off of it. Yeah, it was all frosted up on it. No, oh, it's still all frosted up. A little bit tougher on the thing, but it all fell off that night I was looking for. Yeah. Just like spooled off. Yeah. So we really need to get a, maybe bring a broom out here and. You looked right up here on this corner right yeah. here? Yeah. Man, I could have swore I saw I hit it. Yeah. Well, now you all know where my hiding spot was supposed to be. Yep. Not there. Not there. Oh well. Our showers destroyed. <laughs> the wind took down the curtain. Yeah. Yeah, take this thing in. Charge it. That's the uh, remember I said there was, you want to know what that was for? Yeah, the remote. Yeah. yeah. That's for that little light. Makes it, lights this whole thing up. Makes a big difference. Right, My sickle's back on the back side. Craig's gonna finish clear off. the roof here. Yeah, finish it off. It was got a bit of it on there. Oh, oh it's gonna take out the, 
Ooh, I'm gonna take out the vent. That's for sure. Yeah. If you want to tight, we'll have to seal this up. Yep. Oh, I'm just sweeping out the snow. Coat's undone. I'm freezing. Can't get it. Need a new coat. Since my hood coat didn't work out. Yep. But maybe it's not the jacket. Maybe well, it's no, her. this one's not screwed up. It's made to come up. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. Hey, Ozzy. Heck, I've had this. This is an Abercrombie and Fitch coat. I've had it forever. Yep. For back in the day. Forever. Over 20 years. Yeah. Well, yeah, probably more than that, even. <laughs> probably more than that. All right. The path to the outhouse cleared and the roof cleaned off of it. Craig's starting to work on the woodshed roof here. I can't get back any further because it's three feet deep and well I'm just not traipsing through that. There you go. Uh, clear me a spot here. Freezing rain or whatever. And yeah. It, like up in, oh, that's about in there. That's closer to two foot of snow up there. Yeah. Stand there. Yeah. It's right up to the top of your knee. You're so dumb. I like to get hit with the snow. Yeah, that's definitely more weight than this thing was designed to take. But it took it. It did. It's still standing. I really didn't think it would be. But you can see, I mean, it's got quite a, quite a bow in it. But we know now it'll take a lot. That it can take a lot. Yep. Hopefully, hopefully your extra 200 pounds ain't the straw yeah. that broke the camel's kinda, back. I can see where I'm like little rafters and stuff are. Yeah. <coughs> Pretty good. Right. Ooh, a little slippery. Look out, Gidge. She ducked when you said that. Guys <laughs> <laughs> are like, it's my snow. Everybody get away. Oh, He's such a goober. <laughs> he loves to catch it. I know. <laughs> Get it, Kaiser. Oh, he's like completely covered in snow. Yeah. He can barely breathe and he just he wants more of it. He yep. It. What do you think, Kaiser dog? Bring it on, he says. Oh, good boy. Where's Cass at? Underneath, on the right. Test test. <laughs> test used to love to catch this now. He's yelling at him. He's making the snow to catch. <laughs> Kaiser, you're being a tad bit ridiculous. Yeah. Huh? He's like, yeah. Yeah. Is it? Hans is trying to climb the ladder to get to you. Hey, I don't know if it's a good idea. What do you think? It's pretty slick up here, boy. <laughs> he put his next paw up. Oh. Layer of ice. Yeah, as I was gonna say, you can see a whole layer of ice from yeah. here. 
I'll show you guys when I walk back up there. <clears throat> what? Not much I can do about that. No. No. I imagine how much weight you took off this thing just for this. A lot. So if you so if you've not seen the woodshed video, go back and check it out. It uh, shows that we built this whole thing for less than fifty dollars. Holy! Yeehaw! <laughs> now the dangerous part. You're gonna attack my dogs. All right, guys, back. Everybody, get back. back Gigi kisses. Gigi kisses. Uh, uh, all right, back, 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 Gigi. Uh, right, guys, 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 guys. Everybody, back. Uh, Woohoo! Yeah, knock some of the, the ice loose. Oh, it did knock some of the ice loose. Yeah, you can see this layer of ice here. Yeah, I might be able to knock that loose. Yeah, look. I'm going to show them how thick it was. There, you can see how thick it is. You know, dust me off a little bit. Yes, I'm making a, my way down to our spring. And you can see there's water flowing. So ugh, it's hard to get down here though. Can't tell where my stairs are. But it's definitely still flowing. So that is good news. And it's right over here. Look at that. Spring's still flowing. There's some of my dam I made. I was reworking it when we left. I had changed some things about it. Let's see, I covered the top of it with some plastic. I had I just rigged up another outflow because I took out the dam that we had in there. I have something new I'm doing. I didn't get to get it done. So I don't know where it is. It should be right around that area there, but I'm not seeing it. There's the outflow pipe right there. Actually. So I gotta do some work on this thing yet. But it's all underneath there. Ugh. Such good water too. Alright, now I'll kick out a path for it again. Since I caved it in. much work on that we got a new spring box we bought down in the states too ours was uh just not holding up it was too flexible <laughs> yeah look at that flow so it's flowing good but like i said a lot of work to do on it and then it's still you can see it's a pain to get our water up so all right i gotta get back up this bank <laughs> Easier said than done. But you can see, definitely isn't easy to bring the water up when we fill containers. I have some steps cut into this, into the dirt, but uh, they're non existent right now. You can see it's pretty steep. So it's not ideal. Whew. Could be better though once we're here all the time i'm able to keep that cleared up you can see it's all the way down there 
People snow machining over in the distance. it now and split some uh, kenneling with the Kaiser dog and itch it. And they are loving being home. Couldn't let him run down in the states. Everybody was a little too close, so they're missing. They really missed that. <sighs> 